So can Tony Iommi Monkey Special be the best release from Zerjoff this year? It features patchouli, so what do you think? Anyway, I'm going to let you know all about Tony Iommi Monkey Special, the latest release from Zerjoff. It's from the Blends Collection. If you want to find out all about it, I'll let you know, so please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Tony Iommi Monkey Special from the House of Zerjoff from their, from their Blends collection. And I'm really digging this one because it does feature patchouli as a main note. And even Tony Iommi says patchouli is one of the best notes for him to be featured in this particular fragrance. Um, that's what I read on the box where this fragrance uh, came in. So today I'm going to let you know all about Zerjoff Blends Tony Iommi Monkey Special. But before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click that subscribe button and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So Tony Iommi is uh, one of the founding members of Black Sabbath, if you didn't know. And why is it called Monkey Special? So it's because he has a guitar that has a monkey on it, and that is why they uh, have called this Tony Iommi Monkey Special. The other re uh, reason is there's also the little monkey design all over the bottle, which I'm not sure you're going to be able to see, but the monkey that's on the guitar is also right up on the bottle all around uh, the particular fragrance. And also this particular fragrance comes in the most beautiful Zerjoff bottle, really, really beautiful bottle. So Tony Iommi collaborated with Sergio Momo of Zerjoff to create uh, this uh, particular fragrance release. And this is in their blends collection. And if you haven't caught my Zoom video I did with Sergio, he did mention uh, the blends collection. He didn't mention this particular fragrance, but if you're curious to watch that video, I have a link in the info box. You can go catch that. But this is a 2021 launch. 50 ml, 235 euros. There's also the signed crystal edition, 50 ml, 550 euros. And it's signed by both Tony Iommi and uh, Sergio Momo of uh, Zerjoff. The concentration is Parfum, perfumer is Chris Maurice. So for notes in Tony Iommi Monkey Special, we have for top notes, Calabrian Bergamot, Rum, Bulgarian Geranium, Passion Fruit, Heart Notes features Cinnamon, Singapore Patchouli, Bulgarian Rose, Leather, Base Notes features Sandalwood, Ambergris, Tonka Beans, Vanilla, Caramel, Labdanum, and Musk. So there's a lot of complex things happening with this particular fragrance. Uh, it is lots of patchouli, but it also, it also features lots of labdanum. And then of course it features loads of leather. So it's a combination of these notes. And then you also have to throw in the cinnamon because there is a very cinnamony, warm spiciness with the particular fragrance. So it's lots of it. And these four uh, notes uh, are really uh, what's running the show. But you do experience a lot of other stuff uh, during the lifetime of this particular fragrance, which smells fantastic, by the way. It smells great on me. And I love patchouli, I always say. And I love the way this one smells because you have not only the patchouli, you have lots of warmth in there. The, ambery touches coming from the labdanum, the warm spiciness from uh, the cinnamon, and of course the kind of light animalic uh, qualities from the leather in here. But Tony Iommi Monkey Special starts off with a blast of citruses uh, from that bergamot note, but you know, it becomes boozy right away. There's that booziness from the rum, and you do experience a light fruitiness from the passion fruit, along with a little bit of, uh, you know, aromatic touch from the geranium note. But immediately it goes into the warmth stage and the earthy stage here. In the heart notes you experience lots of cinnamon beautifully blended with that patchouli in here. And you know what, even though I feel like rose is not so prominent, every every once in a while when I wear it I feel like the rose kicks in a lot and it's like kind of like a cheaper style fragrance because rose and patchouli I was speaking about a few days ago. Uh, and again, it's not necessarily really loud. But every once in a while, I feel like I'm smelling rose and the combination of the rose and patchouli, which actually smells fantastic because I love that combination as mentioned in that video recently. And here in the heart notes as well, you've got a lot of leather. And the leather here 
is rough. It's a little soft, but a little rough, a little animalic. Yes, comes in from this, but I think it's the you know enough to wear and enjoy, and not very very rough uh, that it's not enjoyable and overly animalic. If that makes sense, this part is definitely my favorite part uh, of the fragrance because it's all about that patchouli with that very very warm spicy cinnamon note, and of course the leather, and then that reminder of the rose coming in, just coming in and leaving. It doesn't like stay there a lot to say that this is a rose patchouli combo but every once in a while I get a whiff it's the rose and patchouli together that I really really like and then it goes away and I'm experiencing some of the other notes uh, in the fragrance especially I think it's that cinnamon kind of like hides the rose a little and then the rose kind of peeks through and then disappears again but the fragrance settles to sweetness it goes sweeter as it's drying down and also a little more animalic here in the base notes and there is a kind of a soft creaminess about the, the base notes here because you've got the addition of that sandalwood note tonka beans vanilla kind of drippy kind of uh, gooey vanillic along with that caramel which adds a lot more sweetness to the experience and of course uh, full-on ambery touches with the labdanum there's a major musky component about the fragrance which i quite like i like this muskiness and then of course with that amber green note in here uh, it kind of takes on a little more of an animalic presence but still enough to enjoy this particular fragrance and not call it an animalic fragrance and call it a kind of a warm spicy ambery leathery patchouli fragrance it's really really a great fragrance uh, with uh, the way the notes are combined together it's definitely not that chocolate cakey patchouli that I always talk about with this kind of like combination of uh, you know earthy patchouli earthy woody patchouli with something like resins and uh, vanilla together and amber to create this kind of like a chocolate cakiness here I get that once in a while, just like the rose, it kind of like appears and disappears. Uh, it's a little less uh, and it kind of has a little reminder of something chocolate cakey, but with a lot of stuff going on in this particular fragrance, you know, with the rum and the fruits and the caramel and all that kind of stuff together, I think I I'm not picking up the chocolatey touches that I pick up with other, you know, patchouli fragrances. Because I think even though this is a very prominent patchouli fragrance, I wouldn't call this all about patchouli. There's other notes competing with uh, the, the main note, the star note here, patchouli, that leather as I said, the uh, cinnamon as I said, those all come in and kind of like try and take over uh, as the the prominent uh, note. And the lab labdanum I should also mention, which I did earlier on, labdanum is what creates this the amber touches. So this fragrance does get very, very ambery, but it's amber mixed with leather, cinnamon, and of course patchouli. A great, great combination. A very, very warm, spicy, uh, you know, ambery uh, and also cinnamony spicy take on patchouli. So you've got lots of earthiness, you've got lots of spiciness, there's lots of warmth. It's actually really, really perfect to wear uh, when it's really, really cold outside because it's also really, really intense. Uh, and, you know, as I said, there's lightly animalic touches there too. And I think all of it to mix together creates one beautiful wearing experience. I really, really do like this one a lot. I really, really love wearing it. And I love patchouli to begin with. And the addition of these other notes it makes for an excellent wearing experience. Um, so I, it makes sense that um you know, the co the collaboration with Tony Iommi, with Zerjoff, you know, being a rock star and all that kind of stuff. Um, in the 60s, patchouli was, pro you know, very, very popular. And I think patchouli is now popular as well. I think it's fairly popular in perfumery. It's definitely a very, very um, standout note in fragrances. I feel like Fragrances do need this kind of like, I, I feel like, you know, patchouli can be like a backbone. It needs it to kind of like, you know, be layered with other notes. And here, even though it's, it's doing that, it's actually a lot of patchouli and it's doing it perfectly. And so, yeah, it makes for a great smelling fragrance. It smells, you know, you know, really, really beautiful with that earthiness, the woodiness, the sparkliness contrasted with all the additional notes that are in here to make for, a, you know, a wonderfully complex wearing experience. I really love this one and I also love the way the bottle looks. Really, really gorgeous uh, design work and then 
I didn't notice this until somebody told me. I had to look really, really close. The monkeys are all going up and down for the monkey special. As I said, the monkey is on the guitar, the Gibson guitar for Tony Iommi. So they've put it right here uh, in the design work. You have to look really close to see it. So that's what's great about it. So this is a great collaboration that Zerzhov has done. This is now, I think, collaboration two. I know that Zerzhov did a couple of collaborations with uh, Queen's Brian May, a couple of different fragrances. This might be the second uh, collaboration with a celebrity or a musician. Uh, as I said, don't quote me on that. And I'm looking forward to what else Zerzhov does uh, with uh, these collaborations with these um, musicians uh, or any any kind of a, a famous uh, person. Either way, those are my thoughts on Tony Iommi monkey special from the house of Zerzhov. I really do love wearing this one. Right now we are having such a great winter here in uh, San Francisco, North Cal Northern California. It's been cold, rainy, snowy in some places and I've been wearing this one and I really really do love wearing it when it's really really cold outside. One one thing I just remembered I wanted to kind of highlight as well. This one does have a booziness. Definitely it's present. There's that rum note at the top but I think when the fragrance is drying down and you're in the you know the bass notes the booziness kind of disappears and you're left with the amber so just wanted to uh remember uh, saying that but you do experience the booziness up top for sure so if you like boozy fragrances and you like that idea of boozy top ambery bass uh, definitely check out uh, Tony Iommi monkey special from the house of Zerzhov in the blends collection anyway guys those are my thoughts on this particular fragrance have you sampled it yet does it sound great to you do you like patchouli as much as I do or I should say do you love patchouli as much as I do because I really love the stuff I think it's a very very intoxicating smell and uh, just I was saying a few days ago in that video for patchouli and rose fragrances if you're trying to get attention with your fragrance some of the best notes uh, to do that with is patchouli because patchouli leaves the most amazing uh, trail. The sillage is uh, really really amazing which is kind of what I learned when I was very young and going to college film school and uh, I worked retail and uh, ladies would come in with their perfume heavy on the patchouli and they would really really do something to me and uh, it's kind of how I became really uh, appreciative of the smell of patchouli and here um, it's it's quite uh, phenomenal anyway thanks so much for watching today's video let me know if you've sampled this let me know if you're curious to try it let me know what your favorite Zerzhov fragrance is other than that I appreciate you tuning in if you have any questions or comments please list below please like to video please share it follow me on instagram and facebook and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye <laughs>